kids. They're bundles of energy, but they need the right snacks to keep them going. That's why I give my kids ready bars. The fool. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening guys, it's Shane here. So in this video, we're gonna be breaking down the fastest growing jobs that are making at least $100,000 a year. So these are gonna be jobs that not only pay really well, I mean six figures a year is really good, but they're also going to be jobs that are growing really quickly and therefore there's going to be a lot more opportunity. And generally when you see careers like this where there's a lot of demand and a lot of opportunity, everything else is good with the career as well. You'll have a lot more job flexibility. You'll have a lot more job satisfaction because of that. And the best thing of all is you'll have a lot more free time to destroy the evil YouTube algorithm by smashing like. No, for instance, if you want to spend more time with your family, you would be able to take a small pay cut, work a few less hours, and still make a pretty good salary. And as you're going to see, a lot of these jobs have a few things in common that you can look for in any job, any career, any industry, and these will indicate whether it's a good opportunity or not. Number 10 on the list is going to be computer and information systems manager. Now with this one, you're going to make around $146,000 a year, and there's going to be an 11% growth rate, which is much faster than average. Average. And they basically plan, coordinate, and direct computer-related activities in an organization. So this is a perfect example of combining two very valuable skills. And in this particular case, it's going to be technology, which is an extremely hot skill right now. I talk about it all the time on this channel. And then it's also going to be leadership. So if you become an expert at just one of these two things, you'll probably be pretty good to go. But if you become an expert at both of these things, technology and leadership, your skill set is going to be coveted by basically every company in the world. That's why this particular career is compensated so well because not that many people have those two skill sets together. Another interesting thing to note about this one is there's 414,000 jobs available, so there's a ton of jobs out there as well. This is definitely an amazing one to get into, but number nine on the list is going to be nurse midwives. They make about $105,000 a year and they're growing at about 15%. Now in layman's terms, nurse midwives are basically the nurses that help doctors and pregnant women give birth to their children and it's probably not going to surprise you that there's a ton of healthcare professions on this list because healthcare professions are going to be growing a ton in the next decade healthcare related professions are growing faster than any other type of career even technology which is why it's not surprising that the next one on the list is also a healthcare related profession and that is psychiatrist now psychiatrists are medical doctors and so they make quite a bit of money probably over two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year according to bls it's over two hundred and eight thousand but we all know it's a lot more than that and they're also growing at about 15%, which is much faster than average. And this isn't surprising. Mental health is extremely important and it's a huge issue here in the United States. I think we're all going a little bit crazy being cooped up in our houses all day long during this quarantine. One thing you will notice about mental health professions is it seems like the only ones that are growing really fast are the ones that require either six year or eight year degrees. So I know a lot of people on my channel are interested in psychology and they were devastated when I put it as one of the most worthless degrees. But if you're willing to do a six year or an eight year degree, it can still turn out pretty well. Next one on the list is going to be a financial manager. Now they're making around $129,000 a year and they're growing at a really healthy 16%. There's also over 650 jobs available out there. So you probably won't have to move anywhere to start your career. Now financial managers generally deal with all the finances in an organization. And this is another really good example of combining two different skills that put together work extremely well. Someone who's an expert on finance and also an expert in leadership you combine them together and you get a financial manager it's rare for someone to know a lot about both of these things and so when you combine those two things together companies just love that number six on the list is going to be computer information and research scientists they make around hundred and twenty two thousand dollars a year and it's growing at about 16 percent now the downside to this one is it does require a master's degree or a six-year level degree to get into it generally and then on top of that there's only about thirty one thousand jobs available or so and this is a career where you can be extremely innovative in how an organization uses their technology. Overall, this is still a really good one to get into, and I guess this is kind of just my personal opinion, but I see this one getting more and more important in the future. I guess you could kind of say that this is combining the skills of extreme creativity with computer science and technology, and that's a pretty rare skill set to have. It's kind of like someone who can use both sides of their brain, and so if you can do this, I think companies are going to absolutely love you. Number five on the list is going to be a medical and health service services manager. They make over $100,000 a year and they're growing at over 18%. There's also
also over 400,000 jobs available and it only takes a bachelor's in order to get into this one. And they basically plan, direct, and coordinate the activities of all healthcare systems. And this is another example where you're combining different skill sets. In this case, you could even argue that it's three different skill sets because you've got leadership, healthcare, and then also technology. And so you can see why this one is so highly coveted because not that many people have all of those different skills. Number four on the list is going to be actuaries. They make about $108,000 a year and they're growing at an outstanding 20% clip. And they basically use mathematics, statistics, and different financial theories to analyze risk and benefit. And this is an example of combining two different skill sets, which is basically business and mathematics. Now, from my research that I did, you do have to take a series of extremely hard tests. And a lot of the time that'll actually take years for you to get all of those tests out of the way. But once you've got all of those tests down, you can make even more than what's listed on BLS. Number three on the list is going to be very closely related to actuary, and that is mathematicians. They make about $105,000 a year, and they're growing at an even better 26%. Now, whereas actuaries are a little bit business oriented, mathematicians tend to actually go into technology from the research that I've done. And so you're basically combining the skill set of mathematics, and then you're also adding that to technology. And a lot of the big tech companies like the problem solving and the theoretical aspect that mathematicians bring to the table. And so many four year math graduates will end up working in the tech industry. Number two on the list is going to be nurse practitioners, another healthcare degree. Nurse practitioners make about $109,000 a year and they're growing at about 28%. Now this is one of my favorite careers. I talk about this one all the time in some of my other videos, but basically what they do is they kind of help out doctors and they actually replace many of the tasks that doctors do. So for instance, in many cases they can prescribe, they can diagnose, they can do almost all the things that a doctor can do, but they don't have all of the responsibilities. In my opinion, this is a much better career if you want work-life balance, but you also want to make a really good living and you want to make an impact as well. So as of now, there's over 240,000 jobs available, so you will likely be able to find a job no matter where you live in the country. This is a really good one and it's pretty much tied with number one on the list. They kind of go hand in hand. It's just a toss up which one is better. And number one is going to be physician assistant. Another one of my favorite degrees. This one is growing at 31%, a totally ridiculous 31%, and they make about $112,000 a year. And the best way you can describe PAs is they're kind of like mini doctors. They do have to work under a doctor in most circumstances, but they can do a lot of the things that a medical doctor can do. This is another career that has a lot of the positives that I mentioned with nurse practitioner. It's extremely flexible. You can change specialties if you want to. I actually knew a PA who was working in like two different specialties at once. Whereas if you're a medical doctor, it's extremely difficult to change specialties. You kind of just have to choose one specialty and then stick with it, whether you like it or not. But yeah, I'm a huge fan of PA. I've talked about this one a lot on the channel. I'm probably gonna make more specific videos on it in the future. It basically just ticks all the boxes. Make sure to check my videos out right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the little notification bell, and then comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc., that you have on the video. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now.